Okay, so guys, I'm going to hit the high points from Tuesday's synchronous lesson. Um, if you have not signed up for a binder check, you need to go into Schoology, find that link, and sign up for that as soon as possible. Um, I would have your Schoology and OneNote open right now. Um, the essential question for today is what are some factors that you should start considering now about the college that you will attend? And remember that little uh, bitmoji in the top right corner is the indicator that you need to be taking notes. So the first factor that will affect your decision is size. So there are three categories, small, medium, or large. Um, and the numbers out to the right are the number of students for that category. Um, so what I've done is I've listed some pros and cons for each um, category for size and given some examples at the bottom. So I would take a second, pause, um, read through those, maybe in your notes, write down the things that stick out to you or that really are important, um, and then list those examples at the bottom. And again, you can do this by hand in your notes or on OneNote. Okay, second factor is location. So you have in-state, out-of-state, um, or international. And again, I would pause the video take a second, write these down. Um, I think the biggest thing that you should take away from this factor uh, location is that if you choose to go out of state, so if you choose to go to Georgia or Missouri, wherever, you will not have as many financial aid options available to you. Uh, I think that's the biggest um, con with going out of state. So again, take a second, write those down. Um, and they, I would highlight or underline the pros or cons that you feel like are very important to you. The last factor is setting. So this is the type of environment this, that the college is located in. So urban would be a major city like New York or Atlanta. Suburban would be bordering a large city. Uh, an example of suburban, kind of Nashville. Nashville's on the brink of being urban. Um, and then rural is obviously outside like Jackson, Tennessee. That's a rural city. Um, take a second, again, look through these, highlight, underline the pros or cons that are very important to you and write down those examples. All right, so after you have taken notes on each of those three, I want you to circle which category you feel like best fits you or is most appealing to you, okay? Um, if you're taking notes on OneNote, you could highlight or circle, however you want to do that, um, just to show this is really what I'm going to focus on looking at when I do my college search. All right, so we are going to apply what we just talked about. Um, in Schoology, you're going to go to week three, your synchronous folder. There is a document that says finding colleges that fit. I want you to click on that. It will open a Word document. Um, you're going to follow the instructions here, um, and you're going to answer those questions. You can either type them into the document and save it, or you can um, copy and paste all of that into OneNote and answer those there. Either way works, okay? You don't have to upload this to Schoology. The only thing that I want you to do is add it to your eBinder under College Readiness or you can put it with your focus notes for today, okay? And this will be graded with your asynchronous work for this week. Um, we're gonna skip that. Yeah, and guys, here's just a rundown of the asynchronous assignments this week. The main thing is the binder check and then fi uh, finishing that activity that I just explained. Um, if you guys have any questions, uh, let me know. You can email me or send me a Schoology message.